So let's get started on the lesson. A community is a place where people live together. There are many different types of communities. In this lesson, lesson, you will learn about three common types. Urban, suburban, and rural. An urban community is large and highly populated. This means that lots of people live there. In urban communities, you will see tall buildings or skyscrapers, traffic and transportation. New York City is an urban community. Look at all the tall buildings and busy people. New York is called the city that never sleeps. Why? It's because these bright lights stay on all night long. An urban community could be busy both day and night. Most people live in apartment buildings in an urban community, although some live in homes. Since urban communities are so crowded, there are many apartments and homes located right beside one another. A suburban community or a suburb is located near a city. It is not as populated as an urban community there is less traffic and smaller buildings. Some people who live in suburban communities travel to a nearby city for work. This is called commuting. Look at the L train from Chicago. This train travels to and from Chicago and its surrounding suburbs. There are not many buses and trains in a suburban community, so most people drive to work. Many people live in homes in suburban communities. These homes are usually very spacious and beautiful. They have amenities or special features, such as large backyards and garages. A rural community has very few people and buildings. In fact, it mainly consists of farmland. You might see lots of animals and natural scenery such as trees and grassy plains. People live in small houses that are spaced far apart. Some houses are located miles away from one another. Look at this home. It stands alone. Would you like to live here? Why or why not? Let's review. An urban community is large and highly populated. A suburban community or a suburb is located near a city. It is not as populated as an urban community. A rural community has very few people and buildings. It mainly consists of farmland. What type of community do you live in? Think about it. Look around your community. What do you see? Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find School in my community. And this week we're learning about community and we are going to do that through this scholastic reader. It's a weekly reader and it is going to teach us about community and the different things that make up community um, communities. School in my community. This is Ben and his dog Scout. Ben and Scout live in a rural community. That means they live in the country. Can you find clues in the picture that show that they live in the country? Okay, let's look for clues that they live in the country. Let's see, I see cows. And I see a tractor. I see a barn. And I see lots and lots and lots of trees. 
and a very long fence. I see rolls of hay, and I see big pastures for the cows. And it looks like he has probably some kind of shepherding dog to help with the animals, and that all tells me that he lives in the country. Okay, school in three communities. So the way this is scanned in, it looks kind of funky, but we'll just, um, I'll stitch it together and we'll, we'll make it work. Okay, a community is a place where people, people live, work, and play together. Okay, so community is a place where people live, work, and play together. School in the country. In a rural community, some kids walk to school. Many kids ride in a school bus or in a car. Buildings and homes are far apart from one another. Many rural schools are small. Some schools have only one room. In these schools, children from different grades are in the same classroom. This is a one room school um, in Montana. And what is the name of this school? Springdale School. And we see the United States flag. We see they probably have a chimney in there. We have a bell that, um, what do you think the bell is used for? Probably for calling the kids in from recess. Okay, and we see there's probably, there's a front door and a back door. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, the buildings and homes are far apart from one another and we know there's probably not um, anything else around the school for miles and miles, even though we can't see the rest of the picture. Um, and we know that there's probably lots of kids who go to school here who are in different grades. Okay, and I wrote this one down and I will stitch up together the, I'll put up the picture. Okay, so school in the suburbs. In the school community, some kids walk to school. Many ride in a car or a school bus. The buildings are closer together than in the country. There is a lot of room for fields and playgrounds at the schools. Many suburban schools have big playgrounds. Okay, and then now we'll go to um, actually I forgot to say, so that school is in, um, it's a school in a suburban community in New York. So we know that the buildings around that school are closer together. Um, it likely has a playground. Um, and we know that, uh, most kids can ride a car or a school bus there. Whereas in the country, um, let's see, it says many kids ride a school bus in the car. So I guess that's the same. All right, school in the city. In an urban community, kids might take a bus, car, or subway to school. They might walk. Homes and buildings are very close together. Cities have many buildings. There may not be room for fields and playgrounds by the schools. Some schools have a playground on the roof. Can you guys imagine having a playground on your roof? So here's a school in a city. It says this urban school in California has playgrounds on the roof. And you can see there isn't really, there's no room for any playgrounds because everything is so close together. So this is very different than in the country where there's lots of lots and lots and miles and miles of space and grass. And then in the suburban, we know that the buildings are closer together, but they still have plenty of room for fields and large playgrounds. And then we see here um, the, the, that this is the most different from the country. There's no room for any playgrounds um, and in fields. And we see that the only playground that they do have is on the roof. And so it is space for them to be outside, which is nice, but it's um, it has to be on top of their school instead of around their school because there's no space. 
And that's very interesting when you um, come from the different environments and different communities, because uh, we don't, I've never seen a school that has a playground on the roof. And so it's just kind of cool to learn about different pe ways that people live in, in different communities. Okay. Next page. School in a city. Emma and her dad walked home from school. Read the map to see their path. Answer the questions. So this is going to help us learn a little bit more about communities. Let's scroll up a little bit. I move my mouse, I think that thing pops up. Okay. So this is also going to um, work on our map skills. And I know we did some of that at the beginning of the school year. Okay, Emma and her dad started at the school. Draw a check mark on them. So I'm not going to draw a check mark, but we will find them. So here's Emma and her dad. They are where? They are at the school. Okay, so that's kind of put that little ping right there. If you ever use Google Maps, um, you know you can kind of ping uh, where you are. <clears throat> so they are at the school to start, and that's why they kind of have that little ping right there. Okay, let's go to what's next. Where did Emma and her dad stop first? So we follow this ping and we go just like on when you use Google Maps. And let's see where they went first. And we have another ping, which means that's where they stopped. And so here they are at the library. Let's look at the answers. Was it the museum, hospital, or library? We know they went from the school, do 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 to the library. So we would bubble in the library. Where did they stop next? The library, city park, or a restaurant? All right, let's start from here and see where they went. Do, 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 do. Boop. All right, they are at the city park. So we would bubble in city park. Where did they stop after the city park? Start here at our little ping and go to the next one. Do, 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 do. Boop, stops at the drugstore. So we would bubble in drugstore, museum, or school. Well, we passed the museum, but we know they did not stop there. So we know the answer is drugstore. Look at the map. Which of these places are in your community? Which are not in your community? Oh, that is a great question. So we know we have many, many, many schools. We have, I think, 40 something schools in our um, city. And uh, I mean, elementary schools. And then I think we have three junior highs and three high schools. So we have dozens and dozens of schools. Okay, we have a hospital and we do have many homes for lots of lots of people. We have a wonderful library and we have a state museum. So we have the museum since we live in the capital, we have the state museum here, um, which is a really nice uh, benefit of living in the state capital. Um, we have lots of drugstores, we have all greens, we have, um, there's lots of different places for medicine. Um, we have lots of great restaurants, we have lots of great parks. And so that's kind of fun to think about. Um, in fact, I'll probably um, do a little thing right here where I will throw up a map of Cheyenne and we'll look at it. Scholastic News, Weekly Reader, Back to School Nerves. When I was little, I used to get nervous every September. Would I be able to find my way around the school? Would my teacher be nice? Every year I would worry, and every year my friends, family, and teacher would get me through that scary first day. I'm not in school anymore, but I still remember, oops, excuse me, but I still get the September nerves. This year, I wondered, 
Will our issues be fun and exciting enough? Will they be too easy, too hard, or just right for our readers? What if I don't have any good ideas? Once again, I got some help. Our designers made the issues look beautiful and colorful. The other editors pitched in with catchy headlines and exciting openings. Our leveling expert made sure the articles were right on target. And just like when I was little, teachers helped me too. Our teacher advisors answered tons of emails to help me pick the best, most useful, most exciting September topics. Now I have another familiar feeling. Excitement for the school year. I hope you're excited too. Okay, compare school in three places. Read school in my community, which we did, then fill in this chart with details from the issue. Type of community. Urban, suburban, rural. How do students get to school? How close together are the buildings? What does a school look like? Urban, we know that they could get to school in a car. Bus. Subway. Oopsies. They can walk. Okay, how close together are the buildings? The buildings are very close together. Let's underline that, that's an important word. What does a school look like? Draw your own picture. Uh, I'm just gonna put it up so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, and we, can, we know we're comparing what they look like in different types of communities. Okay, suburban. How do students get to school? Car. They can walk. Or they can take a bus. Have you, which way have you ever gotten to school? On a car? walking, or the bus. How close together are the buildings in a suburban school, um, suburban community? Let's look. What would you say? I think they are somewhat, whoa, that was a messed up. Okay, somewhat, I think I can erase it. Somewhat far. They're not super close together. Uh, the two schools generally have a lot of room. Okay, let's erase that. Okay, somewhat far. And what do you think? And let's see, what does a school look like? I think that's pretty good. Yep, yeah, there's usually trees and a playground and big school and lots of space. Okay. Rural. Students may ride in a bus or a car. Some students walk. Okay. How close uh, together are the buildings in a rural community? They are pretty far. There's mile usually. Okay, what does a school look like? And let's see. All right, I hope we understand what schools in different communities look like.